Dear colleagues, welcome to today's sneak preview on SAP Business by Design's new HTML5 user interface. Uh, I published the last video on this topic just before Christmas uh, 2015, so today it's April 2016. Let's have a look at what was done in the last couple of months with the UI. So we log on to the system. And as I've explained the last time, uh, we are using, uh, for example, Chrome as the reference platform, but also Edge as a browser that we are using. The new user interface comes up. And what you see is, first of all, that we have adjusted our UI to the Fiori style guides that as an SAP customer, you probably also know from other products. So we visualize most of the information today in tiles. But besides that, the basic navigation principles are exactly the same as you know them from business by design. So if we dive a little bit deeper into what you can do with the user interface, as explained also the last time we've changed the navigation so that we moved what was up here, the work center tiles to the left. Uh, the reason behind that is very simple. The screen geometry has changed in the last couple of years. Today, 16 to nine is the typical one. So the screens are wider and therefore we want to use that real estate. If we drill into certain capabilities, good, then uh, the corresponding menu opens up. You have here all of the work center views and what you can do is if you want to uh, add the sales order work center view to your favorites, then you can do this. Up here, you now have a favorites bar and you can also remove the favorite from here. If you want to go into a specific order, you just click on the corresponding tile and from here you see basically those patterns uh, which you've been using for quite a while. So if we want to see all orders, but only the ones that are completed by now, then we can run this report now and we get the corresponding list. If we drill into one of them, then you get to the overview page and here you have all of the basic information plus you know that if you then go to the more button you get the additional information about the outbound documents and others so now the page loaded and we see the document flow as well as all of the corresponding information and from here as always i can either say show me the delivery note i can close this one here or navigate through to the corresponding customer invoice and also here the preview retrieves the corresponding invoice from the system and I can visualize the whole thing as a PDF document. Good, that much for the basic functionality. So you see the user interface is now using the HTML5 capabilities of state-of-the-art browsers. By the way, I could have recorded the same demo on an iPhone, so we are also supporting Safari. And as mentioned, we will come up uh, with our strategy on how we will use HTML5 also on mobile devices. So what are we delivering now? Um, we delivered to you the first sneak preview uh, in the December timeframe based on the 1511 release. We have worked now on first the financials component because we saw that it's more useful to go end to end with one specific capability. We've added CRM, we've added supplier relationship management capability. So with the 1605 release that you should have in your hands latest by June, you can try out the new HTML5 UI on your own, but only in your test tenants. Uh, the production tenants will be uh, protected from the new user interface for the time being. Based on your feedback, we will then decide when we reach general availability for the new HTML5 UI, whether that will be uh, the August. I would rather assume that it's the, 15, uh, the 1611 release around which you will have 
uh, then this UI as an alternative UI to the existing Silverlight UI. So we are looking forward to your feedback. One or two more things that I wanted to show you if we close these windows here. Um, obviously, uh, one of the important topics always is analytics. If we go there to the list of the reports, then we have here our famous sales order volume report. I can start the report. You see that here the client looks uh, a bit different than, than what you've known, and I'm sure that you will appreciate the improvements there. Some capabilities that we had in the past, but very nicely done now in the new one. You can deselect the attributes that you are not interested in, but say, I want to see the ABC classification, I want to see the information, who am I doing my business with, and I want to see the sales order. And with just a few clicks, you've done the report as you would have wanted it. And now again, you can navigate from here directly into the sales order. Um, yeah, let's do that for a second. Then I can show you one more thing that I wanted to quickly discuss. If we go into the details of a sales order, and let's say we come to the conclusion that we don't need all of these fields on the screen, then I can click here on the cockhead, start the personalization session, and adjust the user interface in the way how I want to do it. So for example, if I don't want this tile at all, I could switch it off here. Or if I say I'm not interested uh, in certain elements, now that doesn't make too much sense to take the name away, but I could do that and switch on and off the different components. If I want to undo that change, I can click on that tab here and get the information back again. So I think we are really leveraging some of the capabilities that we get with HTML5 beyond the capability that we can run on multiple devices. That much from my side today. Thanks a lot. And yeah, looking forward to your feedback as soon as you will have the 1605 system in your hands and can try out this new user interface in your product, uh, in your test environment. That much for today. Thanks a lot and talk to you soon.